Hi everyone, this is Mr. Ting once again. So during the PSLE workshop, there was a last question which I did not manage to complete. I only made you all do the uh, part 1A. Okay, the question is actually the last one about the suin baking some pies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this particular question which I thought is uh, one of the more difficult PSLE questions involving common ratios. Okay, so for the last part of the for the second half of the workshop, what I did was the common ratio. Hope you understand them. You can actually go to our website, which is www.ascholars.com.sg, to download the full solution. Okay, here uh, is a video of me going through the solution. So let's take a look at this, shall we? First one, one a. So Suing baked some pies. She gave one fifth to her relatives and thirty of them to her friends. So uh, I drew this during the workshop. Suing baked some pies, one fifth given to relatives, 30 of them gave to friends, and she's left with two thirds of the pies. She then packed these into 18 boxes. So this, whatever is left, is packed into 18 boxes as shown over here. So some contain 6 while the rest contain 12. Okay, we're not going to do that first because uh, for part A, they told us how many pies were packed into the 18 boxes. So we need to find what is, what is the number that's packed into here. So what we do is we, look, we take a look at this fraction and this fraction. Now, what does this fraction tell us? I'm using a color, right? <coughs> okay. Now, what this fraction tells us, uh, uh, and especially the denominator, the 5 and the 3, the 5 and 3 both refer to Su Yin's total number of pi's. Now, since both 3 and 5 are referring to the same value, what we can do is we can change them to the common multiple. Right, or the common denominator. So this one fifth. Now a uh, common denominator between common multiple between three and five is actually fifteen. So one out of five is actually three out of fifteen, and two out of three is actually ten out of fifteen. So if I take ten out of fifteen plus three out of fifteen, it gives me thirteen out of. 15 and if I take the total number of pies that she had at first which is 15 out of 15 take away 13 out of 15 I get 2 out of 15 so this 2 out of 15 now what is this 2 out of 15 is actually this one because if you add the 3 of them together you should get the total number of pies so 2 out of 15 represents 30 Pies. Once I know 2 out of 15 represents 30 pies, I can find 1 out of 15 represents 15 pies. And the question is uh, for part A, how many pies were packed into the 18 boxes? You can see the ratio over here is actually 10 out of 15. So since 1 out of 15 is 15, 10 out of 15 has got to be 15 times 10, 150. Pies. Okay, so that's the uh, answer. This is the answer for part A, 150 pies. Now, how about for part B? Now, I got the answer here, this is 150. Okay, let me just try and clean the place out a bit for some space. Uh -huh. Okay, so we already found that the answer for part A is 150. Okay, now let's try to do the next one. Okay, okay. So for the next part, how many boxes contain uh, 6 pies? 
So for the second part, uh, I will recommend you to use guess and check. Now another way to do this is to use the simultaneous equation method, uh, which can be a little complicated. So just, let, let's just use the easy one. So we know that 150 are packed into 6 or 8. So we set up a guess and check table. So the first column is a number of uh, 6 pies long column so total okay so number of boxes with 12 pies and the total right and we need to find the grand total And the grand total has to tally with 150. Now since there are 18 boxes, let's assume, suppose, all 18, the number of boxes, right? Number of boxes, these boxes, with 6 by 6, suppose there are 18 of them. So if there are 18 of them, the total number is, uh, this is 18 times 6 equals to 108 right and then there's zero zero here now what's the grand total grand total is just one zero eight is that well wrong no because we are looking for 150 so let's try some more okay let's try another number okay let's try 10 and 6 this 60 because 10 times 6 equals to 60 now if there are 10 over here what is the number of 12 pies? This is 8 because 10 plus 8 has got to be 18. And 8 times 12 gives me 96. So if I take 60 plus 96, I get 156. So that's wrong because I'm looking for 150. So let's do one more. Now, over here, you can really tell uh, because the difference between 150 and 156 is actually 6 what we need to do is just increase one more here right so this becomes 66 and uh, this is 7 so 7 times 12 84 66 plus 84 equals to 150 so this is correct so using guess and check how many boxes contain 6 pies this is the one so the answer for B is 11 boxes contain 6 pies. That's all, right? Feel free to let me know if you have any queries for other questions. Thank you very much.